Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, so we had the tornado in Virginia Beach yesterday. Uh, we had video of it. We saw damage reports. We're going to see a lot more of those damage reports coming up today as uh, you know, the light comes up, be able to see where we can go. Because right now, you know, it's, it's well, not as dark as it was, but earlier it was dark, all those power lines down. Plus, there's a lot of waterways in here, too. Just kind of getting around could be a little tough in general. So uh, this Virginia Beach tornado was yesterday. And so here's the closer view of the suspected path. We're going to get the actual path from the National Weather Service, uh, most likely later today. We'll know how strong it was, but uh, it caused a lot of damage. I mean, enough that it was probably stronger than an EF0 or EF1 maybe up to EF2, but that's speculative. But anyway, started up around Forest Hills, went through Great Neck and then affected Bay Island and uh, parts of Fort Story as well. So uh, moving off to the northeast. Uh, there it was on the radar yesterday and it was, you know, very intense rain, but also we uh, we have a way to detect whether there's solid objects getting picked up from this. And so there was an indication of storm debris there and meteorologist chief meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. I mean, he was on there tracking it and uh, meteorologist Steve Fundero. They were both tracking this and I saw them actually pull this up. And so, you know, it, they kind of had more uh, uh, credence to it. I mean, when you see that, you just you know that there's more uh, of a likely tornado on the ground at that point. And so that was yesterday. That little area, low pressure, even though it's small, it was potent. And so that moved through, had some warm, humid air to work with, too. Now it's gone. It's up in the northeast states. This area low pressure is going to take over now over the Great Lakes, but this is going to deliver us a cool pattern for the next two or three days. High pressures to the southwest, but this pattern will be stuck for about three days in a row. So we'll just continue with the cool westerly winds and uh, it's going to at least be dry most of the time. But there's also an upper level feature there that might bring us some clouds and stray showers. So all of our rain from yesterday is gone. Today, temperatures uh, upper 60s. I'm going 70 degrees. I think we'll get there. 60s tomorrow. And notice there's that colder weather up in the Great Lakes. And so that aerial pressure is just going to be spinning around that. Meanwhile, they'll be warming up to our west and southwest. And eventually we'll get that warming, but not through Wednesday. I mean, we stay in the 60s and probably stay cool through Thursday. So our winds are out of the west today. They're going to gust up to about uh, 25 to 30 miles an hour on the water winds out of the west, 15 to 25. There's some small craft advisories in effect because of it sees four to five feet. So your uh, seven day forecast, you got highs near 70 today, 68 tomorrow, 66 on Wednesday, and then 64 on Thursday. We'll have highs in the 60s, isolated showers for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then uh, going into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weather looks pretty good. I wish we had some warmer temperatures. Then keep in mind we might warm it up before we get there, but uh, we are going to see some dry weather. I do think from Sunday onward, we're finally going to get more of a normal pattern. Highs will get back to the 70s and we'll have some pretty quiet weather. But uh, next couple of days could see some isolated showers.